Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. So this could resonate at any time in May. This is for Virgo. This may or may not be for you. If it is, great. If it's not, then it's not. So what do we have for Virgo? Yikes. So somebody is seeing a situation clearly in regards to a partnership. <laughs> Can't make that up now, can we? So this is the truth being revealed, the truth coming out. Uh, this is the light being shown on a situation in regards to a partnership. Okay? This could be a work partnership. This could be a love relationship. Any, whatever it is, it's partnership, and it's like something is coming to light. Right off the bat. This will probably happen right, you know, could be happening right now. This is being recorded at the end of April, or it could be happening at the very beginning of May. You know, something is coming to light in regards to a partnership. Some sort of truth is being revealed. Something that has been hidden. Maybe there was a third party situation. Maybe, maybe. Not always, but that could be the case. Um, Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, could be dealing with a Cancer. This is Cancer and Pisces. We have Taurus here, but this is in regards to a commitment. So the truth about a commitment. There could be a third party situation. That this, this could also be a celebration. If you are single, you could meet somebody at a celebration. It could lead to a commitment if that's the case. I mean, that could certainly be the case. This is a church. You could meet somebody at church. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but you could meet somebody at church. I don't know. High Priestess reversed. Yikes. You could See, this is the truth, okay? The secret being revealed. If somebody has had hidden agendas, somebody wasn't telling the truth, somebody was keeping secrets in a partnership. They weren't they weren't telling the truth. And because they weren't telling the truth, there was a loss of self. Somebody went through a repression, you know, because you can only bury the truth for so long. Somebody may have known the truth, but they may have buried it and you know, been in denial over the truth, but now you can't deny it anymore because it's needs to be dealt with king of cups four of pentacles holding on somebody's been holding on to something for because of the stability for the stability it's been stable you know it's been stable somebody's been holding on obsessed with maybe the assets or something like that obsessed with the money this is greed. I mean, the, the, that is the miser card. So we have somebody that may have been staying in a commitment because it was stable, maybe for the assets, but, you know, I don't know. Don't look good. Yeah, now it's gone south. There's no desire. There's no passion left for it. There's no excitement. There's no growth. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. So we got the lovers reversed. So somebody is probably, I mean, we know the lovers is a contract, making a decision about a contract. Now this is reversed. A soulmate contract, perhaps that is no longer compatible in the same lineup as the two of cups reversed. So this is not probably what you want to hear. <laughs> But somebody, and this could, it could be this person, okay? You, this could be the person you are dealing with. The person that you are dealing with may be, um, maybe they've held on to a third party connection. Maybe they were obsessed with proving a point. Maybe, you know, they got themselves into a false partnership and now there's, 
you know, they realize that there's no growth. This can go so many ways. This It's not meant to be. There is a partnership here that is not meant to be. It could be the person that you are dealing with that now is coming forward with an offer of love. Maybe they've gotten out of the third party situation. Or it's you. This could be you, you know, deciding or coming to the realization. This is a realization. The moon reverse is a realization that... Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is coming to the realization that there's no growth in this situation. There's no real love, okay? It's not compatible. Um, somebody held on to it for the wrong reasons. And it's caused a loss of self, it's caused a repression. Things have gone south. Ah, and now we have somebody that is deciding to be responsible, deciding to be practical. This is responsible. This is practical. This is wise. This is, I need to bring back structure to my life. I need to do the right thing. You know, I need to accept reality. So I feel as though somebody is getting a reality check and... We have somebody here that is making a very wise, practical, responsible decision. This lover is reversed. This is the this is this could be the end of a contract, okay? Giving up on a false contract. Now we do have two people here. Of course we do. We have the we have the water sign and the earth sign. And the Taurus had this too. So you could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign. You could be dealing with a Taurus in particular. You could have Taurus in your chart, okay? We definitely have this is a choice between two. This is a choice between two. The, you, the person that you're dealing with, they could be any sign. They really could. But the person that you're dealing with may have a choice between two or you have a choice between two. Somebody has a choice between two suitors and that is no joke. But we have somebody here that's been holding on to some sort of commitment that is not compatible. And it's like, they're probably ready to give it up. You know, they're probably ready to give it up. Hmm. Yeah, this is turning away from a foundation, a family situation. This is giving up on the family or the home, moving out of the home or kicking somebody out of your home or somebody. This is a change in your home. Somebody, I think, is making a decision to either move or change their living circumstances because it's the most practical, responsible. It's the right thing to do. So I think that we have somebody here that is making a decision to definitely let go. I'm giving up on this. I think it's a third party situation, you know. I'm giving up on something. I'm giving up. This is giving up. I'm not going to hold on anymore. I've held on long enough to this. And I'm looking for extreme happiness. I'm looking for wish fulfillment. So right around the corner, somebody is, because they are following their inner guide and they are believing in themselves and they are listening, the Hierophant is listening. Somebody is listening to what they are being told from their higher power. It's time to follow your dreams. It's time to go after wish fulfillment. It's time for you to be happy. So I really feel as though wish fulfillment and extreme happiness is coming. And it's because you believe in yourself. It's because you follow your own path. Somebody is, is, is headed right towards wish fulfillment. But right now, right now you are being called to be practical. 
right now. I think that somebody is in a situation where there's no more passion and they've gone through this repression, this loss of self, and they're ready to let go of this incompatible partnership because they have love. They have love for, I think it's an, another person, I really do, and they probably want a reunion with somebody else. They've been crying over a loss and really dealing with some pain. We have somebody here that has been focusing on something that is not emotionally fulfilling for too long. It's like they, there's another opportunity for, there is another opportunity for love here. Absolutely, there is, Virgo. And I think a decision is being made. A decision is being made to let go of this. It was stable at one time. You know, yeah, it may be financially stable or whatever, but that's it. There's no passion left here. Somebody is, there's no passion, there's no attraction. Somebody, it's like an unrequited love situation where there's no attraction left and it's finally being let go of. It's like, this is, this is it. It's like the decision has been made. I got to do the right thing. I got to release this obsession. It's time for me to celebrate. It's time for me to be happy, not focus on this anymore. I got a better opportunity. Somebody's been being dishonest. They haven't been communicating. They haven't been telling the truth. And I think the truth is absolutely going to come out. Somebody may have been treated unfairly by an individual. There may have been some mental, verbal, whatever, some sort of abuse. Somebody may have been dealing with a bully, somebody that doesn't care who they hurt, a liar. And it's like somebody's definitely been, had some hidden agendas here. Somebody was trying to probably prove a point. Oh, my God. And they have brought you down. They have brought you down. I think that you have probably taken away the offer or you are taking away the offer. You're no longer investing in it. You're probably focused on everything but this abusive situation at this time. You know, whoever you're dealing with may have gone cold. They may have ghosted you. And I think now they, I don't know, with that King of Cups and this, maybe they want to come forward with a real opportunity for love after they hurt you. Is, but we have a very hurtful individual here that did not treat another person fairly and they did not tell the truth about how their their real feelings they weren't listening to their intuition now the truth is being coming out it's like it's inevitable but I think that you are not you don't have it's like I don't have anything to offer you know it's like you don't you don't no, I'm not focused. I'm focused on everything but this relationship at this time because I don't want to be abused. I don't have any desire. To, I'm not even attracted to it anymore. So I feel like you're going to probably, you're probably putting your guard up. You may be pushing somebody away. You may have, maybe you have one person or you have two people. Maybe you have several people that are trying to get inside. They're trying to get your attention. They may be trying to... Because um, we have three men here, if you're a female. You, I mean, you have, may have multiple options here, and you may be like, no, I don't got nothing to offer anybody right now. You may be like, no, 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 no. I, 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 no. You may, somebody is making a decision to end a false contract. And it could be one of the, one or somebody that you're dealing with. If it's not you that's ending this false contract, it's somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody is deciding you know they 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 made the wrong decision they did they made the wrong decision they focused on something that wasn't meant to be probably to prove a point and now and sometimes people prove, want to prove a point to their family they want to prove a point to their to their parents or to their friends or to even to society so i really feel like somebody is coming getting the the message, okay, this is your inner guide. The, the, the inner guide is saying, you know what, it's time to be happy. It's time to go after wish fulfillment. And I think that somebody is letting go of an obsession, of their stubbornness. Somebody has was really trying to prove something. We have a very stubborn individual here that was trying to prove a point, and now a decision has been made that this is just not love, okay? It's not love. And it's time for me to come out of hiding. So uh, somebody is deciding to come out of hiding this month. 
And you may have your guard up. You may be wanting to push people away, push a, a couple people away. You may be like wanting to um, not let anybody into your circle because you may feel like this isn't real. You may not trust. I think that you um, probably have multiple options here and you probably have many people that are trying to get your attention and you're, you probably are not wanting to get distracted at this time. Um, you probably don't trust people very much. Um, Page of Wands, this is like bad news. You may think that this is bad news. You may. You may feel like you're dealing. You don't trust. You, somebody may be coming in. They may be inviting you to a, to something. Or they may be, you know, messaging you. And you may be like, you know, I, I don't. This person doesn't really have anything to offer me. This is a negative Nelly. I think that you're going to be putting your setting boundaries. I think you're I, you may be pushing people away saying no. No. This isn't good news. This isn't what I want. I don't want this. You could be dealing with a person that is mean-spirited, you know, and you know that. Yeah, I think that there's some pain, there's some heartache. This is heartache. This is suffering. I feel as though you are experiencing some pain for I think having to say no. I think that you're having to push some that you will be pushing somebody away and it's painful. I think it's going to be painful for you to do that. It's going to be painful for you to, you know, speak your truth, but I think that You probably know that whoever this is, is not well suited for you and you're probably going to come right out of your shell and tell it like it is. That's what I see. I feel like you're, you're, you're probably ready to come out of this midlife crisis that you've been in or whatever it is you're ready to come out of hiding if you've been some of you haven't could be the other person i'm talking about keep that in mind it's like somebody is coming forward with their truth and it's too late it's a little too late that's what i see could be dealing with anybody we have all the signs here you may have multiple options okay I think you do I think you have multiple choices this month I think you have I do I think you're probably going to be pushing people away look at it. it's like no don't don't because I'm not grounded I'm not in my where I need to be I mean the queen of pentacles reversed I mean this is a you who isn't where you need to be okay you need to be upright not reversed you gotta it's like right now I don't have anything to offer I'm gonna focus on my money I'm gonna focus on my job I'm gonna focus on my home I'm gonna focus on my children I'm gonna focus on my health but I'm not gonna focus on a relationship so I think that's what it is and I think we have somebody here that is you know probably extending their heart to you with that king of cups right underneath this queen of pentacles it's right underneath it and it's upright we have a person that is or several people that is, that is expressing love you know wanting to offer you emotional support or wanting to you know reunite with you or come together with you they may want to commit with you they may want to you know They may want you to choose them. But you have many options here with the Seven of Cups and this one. I do. I can see that you have many options. And I think that you're probably going to be, like, confused. I do it. But I see I see that you, you maybe you're not confused. Maybe you're just like, you know what, I, I, I don't want to do this right now. So I just feel like you're pushing people away. I think that you're pushing people away because you're going through a period of 
it's almost like transformation of some sort, even though we don't have a transformation card. This is a higher consciousness, okay? Being consciously aware of what you need to do. So I feel like you are headed towards wish fulfillment, but you know that you have to commit to yourself. This is committing to yourself right now. So I feel like this is a month of basically self-commitment and probably receiving multiple offers from people and not wanting to move, okay? The Knight of Swords, no, I don't want to move fast. I don't want to, and don't move fast, okay? There's no rush. There's no rush. So I feel like you are you're definitely have a choice between <laughs> several people. Definitely a water sign and an earth sign and an air sign. And we do have fire as well, but... Um, somebody is offering you love, but I'm not sure that you're going to accept it, honestly. Page of Cups reverse. You, you, you may not feel like you trust this person. You may, be, may, not, may feel like you're not emotionally available at this time or that they're not emotionally available. You may see right through them, okay, because you have a, this is a higher consciousness and this is higher consciousness as well. So I think that you, some sort of truth is going to be revealed that is probably going to shake you up in a little bit. It's going to shake you up a little bit. It's going to, you're, it's probably going to, you're going to, you're probably, this is Seven of Cups is making a decision. So you will be making a decision to let go of somebody. I don't know who it is. If it's not you, it's the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is letting go of a third-party situation and they're extending their heart, whether it's you doing it or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is offering some sort of love in your direction and you're like, I don't think so. It's a little too late. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of pain. There's been There's been unfair treatment here. So you may be dealing with somebody that is untrustworthy and un you don't trust them. They rejected you and I think perhaps now you may reject them. I don't know who this reading is for. Um, will you accept an offer from anybody this month? Will you accept an offer from anybody this month? It's time. It's harvest time. Okay, it is seven of pentacles. It's time to pick. It is time to pick. Oh my God. It's time to pick. So you, you know, it's up to you. Like I said, you're going to have multiple options. Now we have these three sevens here. And they're right together. Seven, seven, seven. So seven, seven, seven. So seven, seven, seven. that's crazy. It's time to pick and you need to... You know, have faith. Have faith in yourself. Listen to your inner guide. Listen to your gut. Go with what your gut says. Follow your gut. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Your heart speaks through your gut. Trust me, it does. So, you have options. It's time to pick. It's time to choose. So, yeah, yeah, I feel like you have a very interesting month ahead, Virgo. I think that you have to make a painful choice. You probably have multiple options and somebody is going to get hurt. Emotionally. So. You got to follow your own path. This is the hero font follows their own path, believes in themselves, does not listen to, they follow their inner guide. They listen. The hero font listens to their inner guide. They let their inner guide guide them to wish fulfillment. Let your inner guide guide you to wish fulfillment, please. Follow your own path to happiness. You do have an opportunity for commitment this month. 
It's in your hands. So Virgo, it's, it's picking time. It's time to pick. Time to reap your reward. Something that you planted a long time ago is, is coming to fruition. It's time. So good luck. Follow your intuition. Somebody may be coming back that really hurt you and you have other options as well. Good luck. 